Hello everyone, my name is Gus. Hi there, I'm Woody. And today we're reacting to a combination of videos. I, I oh. found these are all recommended by people, by the way. So thank you for your recommendations. Uh, you can send them to info at divetalk.com. We also have a Discord server. Um, if you want to join it, go to our channel in the About Us or About you know tab. You can find the link to our Discord channel and the link to our merch uh, store. Shop dive talk dive talk. Talk. Yeah, shopdivetalk.com. But... Um, you know, some of these recommendations, the recommendations come in and they are just too short, too short for us to make like a, a reaction to just one video. So what I decided is I took five of these super short videos and we're going to react to all of them today. And I just want to wow. hear your thoughts on them. Cool. Okay. So I've already seen these because I see every recommendation that comes in. Uh, Woody hasn't seen them. I so try not to do that. You're going to get his reaction on these. Yeah. So last week, or last time, I don't know when this one will come through, we reacted to Last Breath, the story of Chris Lemons, mm. um, who's a commercial diver. So the first video we're going to see today is about commercial diving too. So it involves commercial divers. Okay. So let's check this out. All right, hold on. Let me go back. So this guy's commercial diving and bang, this Marlin. Wow. <laughs> just goes and stab him look at this wow so he's like, uh what the hell wait i'm gonna let it play a little because i want to ask a couple of things he's the marlin is stuck in him <laughs> i think yes the guy's like i'm out what depth was he at i i paused it here i i don't know let me if see we if can i can see that see info it. up there Give uh it second. says Oh, no, this can be it because it says like 30, 342,000 meters. No. So that's no. not right. Uh, I don't know. He's in Brazil, it looks like. So the Marlin stabbed him and got <laughs> stuck in what? <laughs> what I don't in know. the world? You okay, let's keep playing. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I just know that the Marlin... Look at this. He's stuck. What in is him. that? Is that the bailout? What is that thing on the back? So he's going he's, to what, the to the bell. I know some people ask, "Is like, well, what does the L look like? The the bell look like?" Well, there you have it. So he's going back to it with the marlin, attached. with the marlin, with dinner attached to him. This oh, is most I mean, people that, don't eat marlin, but it's a swordfish. It was a swordfish, according to the video. Okay, I mean, my reaction is, <laughs> can you imagine if that was you under there and the mar and the swordfish attacks you bang and i also my reaction i bet it's your reaction as well a lot of you why like <laughs> what would happen i mean there's lots of swordfish around and this one just got annoyed by the guy he just went coming swordfish are like there's guy. like 500 typically at once and this one's like you know what i don't like Leroy the look of you Jenkins. i'm leaving i'm leaving the group <laughs> i'm going to stab you because you don't belong here. That's I don't right. know. How to, I don't know what else reaction to give. Thank goodness nothing got punctured. I mean, imagine if that happened in the Air, neck or the something. The neck, or I don't know if that hose could be punctured. The Those ribs. things are pretty powerful. The air hose, or the something air. like that, or you know, I don't know, tearing the dry suit. There's a lot of stuff that could happen. So I that's. I don't know where he's actually jabbed Dude, into. What are those things into? made from the swordfish? Oh, like adamantium? Like what? Oh, they are. And that thing is sharp. ridiculous. No, they can shred. They're they're very tough. Yeah, you would think that it would break with something hard like that. But, but. I'm like, why, swordfish? Why? Why did you <laughs> swim away in pitch blackness from the rest of your swordfish family and decide, Get some. <laughs> I'm pissed. I'm tearing you up. That's all I can think of the whole time. Wrong neighborhood. I'd be like. If I was the worker guy, like, what? Why? You're what? in the wrong neighborhood, right. cuz. That's crazy. He's lo very lucky. <laughs> Nothing more happened. All right. And I guess so. he went inside, took the swordfish with him, and then I don't know if the swordfish <laughs> had a good day after that. Probably. Didn't I, I, I don't know. I don't think it was. I don't think it was a catch and release on this one. I wish it was. <laughs> I still do, believe it or not. Well, we don't know what happened. All right. That's but anyway, crazy. That's, yeah. yeah, that is crazy. All right. So the next one, <laughs> this one is funny. Uh, the next one is a dive master. They're in the Galapagos, which you've been to. I haven't been to. But apparently in the Galapagos, it's very common to just go down to like 
the bottom or whatever, the reef or whatever that is, and just hold, hang on because the current, current is too hard. There's multiple currents in different directions, and yeah. you have to reef hook in. Yeah. You take a reef hook, you put it under a sort of a dead part of the rock, inflate your BCD, and it's, sit back and enjoy the show. That's what right. I did, but it's cold. Yeah. Okay. So this, uh, this guys um, are in a group together with a dive master. They're down at the bottom, and the dive master doesn't have a good dive. So oh. let's watch. <laughs> so there they are. So, oh, my God, look at that fish. And then the dive master will make an entrance and exit uh, soon. So they're all see, hanging you on. You see the dry gloves? You see they're yep. cold. It's very cold in the Galapagos, yep. typically. So they're, uh, you can see the current flying. So that's the dive master with the split fins. And bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> he is out of there. Wow. <laughs> and you do. You fly, man. It's fun. Look, though. and the guy, uh, he's, well, I mean, he doesn't have the best kicking technique. He's probably a, Arms. a new dive master. A lot of arm use. But he just flew out, like the, gone. Yeah, but is he coming back? No, he is gone. Never to be seen. All so, right, I'll stop it. I will tell you this. Listen, in the Galapagos, it's a blast mm -hmm. to fly and drift. Not stop, but yeah. actually fly, fly, fly. It's not like your Cozumel drift diving where it's a nice, leisurely controllable. Mm-hmm. You're, once you go on that drift and you're just flying over the reef, you're like, there's no like, you know, I'll re-grab it and hold on here. You're ripping. Rip your arms You're off. ripping. <laughs> so parts of them are big, giant drift dives, which are fun, and you see a ton of marine life because of the strong currents, the cold water currents. So once that guy let go or undid his reef hook, I couldn't really tell if they were hooked in. Yeah, you're. it's Gone. not that the dive master... Uh, couldn't control it. You would, we wouldn't be able to either. You're Nobody. just, you're gone. Yeah. So just let go and enjoy the r ride, and the, then you're gonna the fire a surface is, signaling device. To the, the question surface. is, and I'm glad you stopped it, because the question is, what should people like people watching this who are not dive masters or anything, if they're in a group and something like this happens to the dive master, what do they do? Let go and let follow go them? and follow them, and ultimately you're gonna need to make sure you carry a reel and a surface signaling SMB. device. If you're in an environment where there's high current, you always have to have the reel, and you should have it at about one and a half lengths, remember, your of depth. the depth, deepest planned part of your dive. So if it's a 100-foot dive there, have 150 foot of line and fire it because, man, you could be three miles away here right. very, very quickly, and then the boat knows where, at least where you are. That's what I would recommend. All yep. right, keep so let's rolling. see if that's what the divers do. So these guys are looking like, um, uh, this guy's dead. I don't know where he went. And the other guy's like, I don't know. I mean, he's hugging the rock there. Yeah. He's so these guys don't let go. They're just like, well, we're just going to continue our dive then. I mean, that's not unreasonable because I mean, the other guy is on his own at this point. They can't yeah. even see him. They're certified divers. I mean, they can stay together. Well, I remember, if you, have a miss if you have a lost diver, okay? Yeah. Which is the case here. I guess they turn around and where's where's Gus? Yeah. The procedure, the general procedure is look under SSI, we actually only look for 30 seconds. Yeah. Not even a minute. I know some agencies are a minute. 30 seconds with two slow turnarounds. And here, if you let go and turn around, you're you're also gonna be a lost diver. <laughs> yep. And then Go to the surface. Make your stops and go to the surface. That is the recommended procedure when you lose a diver. And they obviously... You know, this, this happened to me in the past uh, in Florida where we were drift diving uh, out of West Palm. We were just there for fun. Um, and I was on the rebreather and we jumped in. We were together. It was you and David uh, were on rebreathers and me, the three of us. And then we jumped in, but like it took forever. Like I got caught up or something and I jumped in like a few seconds after and I could never find you guys. It's that fast when you're yeah. drift diving. Yeah, and the, the team got split in two. So I ended up with like four other divers. I remember that. And of course, they look at me, and I'm the guy with the rebreather. So everybody's like looking at me like, what do we do now? You led, <laughs> you know? them. You led I remember so, you kind of led your group. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, okay, everybody, you know, pair up <laughs> together with me. And we did the dive just without everybody. Mm -hmm. We still got out before everyone. The, our group got out first. because so I think when we hit like 40 minutes or something, I'm like, okay, everybody up. Um, and I don't know, five minutes later, 
the bigger group that was with the actual dive guide came out. Um, but yeah, I mean, that, we're all I, I was with the dive guide. So I, yeah, I you were on the group, group with the dive guide, but, and, and I we, became and the I remember, dive guide in our group. And I remember we figured, look, I mean, it's not like we lost you. It was instantaneously when we got in the water. Yeah. Um, you know, you weren't with our group and we knew there was another group. So, yeah. So I told everyone to hold. I fired my SMB. We did a dive for like 40 minutes and we came out. That's the right thing to do. Okay. All right. So the up. next one, I like that you were talking about how sometimes it's a lot of fun to dive with current. It really is fun. Yeah. It's absolutely fun. People are terrified of current. I love it. You're it's like flying. It's man. like conveyor belt diving. It's like they're holding you like, oh, and you're not swimming. Just you're ripping over the, f awesome. over the reef and you're flying. I mean, it's so much fun. That's right. So this video is apparently a very popular dive site I've never been to. It's called the washing machine. Oh, I've been to it. In, in the, the Bahamas. Bahamas. Yep. I went through this thing, man. Okay. <laughs> this is not, though, like a typical drift dive. Yeah. You're going to be tumbled and washed and turned. This current, gets, yeah. it, the, the opening gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And just, <laughs> you you have to be prepared to go upside down. Yeah. So I remember when I was going through it, I just like you curled see. up in a ball. And I'm like, whoa. And then it spits you out on the other side. And it actually calms back down. But everybody wants to do it. So, much so it's fun. actually a site that they go to just for getting spit through this washing machine so somebody filmed it and the back part is actually then an enjoyable calm dive yeah the somebody filmed it too bad they spun that they speed it up so it's like faster than normal but you can still see I the have mayhem video somewhere of me doing this you can still see the ago. mayhem on it so let's play wow it. cool there they yes go. there it is look at that you're flying <laughs> oh they sped that up though yeah yeah but, but look at the divers flop flipping all around and they go into this like spin cycle. Look you, at this. You can't not. It's a blast, everybody. <laughs> Look at everybody. And it's safe. Look, this is a control. shallow dive. I want you to know that, everybody. I think this thing was like 30 feet max depth. That was it. So if you're moving up and down, which you are in it, right, you have like no nitrogen buildup. Because what they do is they drop you right before the washing machine. So you don't even have time to build up any nitrogen. Because they know once you go into that washing machine, you're 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 gonna be like, <laughs> but you, you have nothing going on in you. I mean, it's thirty foot depth, and everybody does it. And by the yeah. way, it's not long. You're only in that thing for a couple of minutes because you're flying. I can't wait to do the washing machine again sometime. <laughs> it's really fun. Yeah, it looks like fun. So anyway, it was a super short video, only twenty two seconds, but um. Uh, somebody ah, sent in cool. and says, like, what do you guys think about this? Do you think it's dangerous? And I'm like, hey, it looks fun. I haven't seen the washing machine in a while. Yeah, I did that on Blackbeards. So uh -huh. Blackbeards is a liveaboard, live -aboard. Yeah. pretty common liveaboard, at, typically out of the um, out of some of the uh, island chains there. And they always do the washing machine. Oh, man, that looks fun. Um, the next one, I want your opinion. I wonder if you think what I think when you watch it. But I'll just tell you what they said on the description, which is not necessarily what I think it happened. But the description went like this. Um, there were a group of divers that were installing those dome structures they put in for reefs. They have them at the aquarium. It looks like a dome with holes. Mm -hmm. So they were installing those. And it was they were all like instructor, dive master, like pros. Okay. All right. And all of a sudden, this dive master freaks out. And he becomes pa he, he's panicked. And he becomes violent. So two instructors are trying to help him, and he's violent. That's the that's what the description says. Okay. I want to know if you think that's what happened, and then I'll tell you what I think it happened. All right. So let's watch. So there they are. Those are the structures on the bottom that I'm talking about. This guy. Let me pause it for a second. If you notice, one of the divers doesn't have any fins. And that's because apparently when they install this dome, sometimes they have to move them. Like they drop them and they're like, no, it should be a little bit over there. So they take their fins off so they can pick it up from the bottom and, we, and then yeah. walk in the bottom of the ocean with and it. We do that same technique at the George Aquarium. Many times we take our fins off when mm -hmm. we're – we certainly do when we're using the scrubbers, which is the – you know, they, they spin and you're scrubbing the walls. Take yeah. the fins off. You're right. Just, you're just riding the scrubber. So, so the only but guy wait, that wait, doesn't wait. have fins – Took which, him off. Which one is the dive master? Just so I'm clear. Uh, on. The, the guy with no fins. He's, he's behind this guy. Oh, he's, he's behind, behind him. Guy. Okay. Yeah. So he doesn't have fins and he starts panicking. And there's an instructor behind him 
trying to help and this instructor coming in by the way look at that pro job in buoyancy and kicking techniques from this instructor he's literally running in the bottom of the ocean with fins they're it's all, like the worst they're all doing that but may, you know they maybe that was in that area apparently they were doing some dive walking to install those yes yeah. so, let's so give the benefit of the so doubt. here we go so the guy's panicking and this guy's like oh let me help he's he's losing it all right so here he comes and he's like nope go get away from me starts trying to kick him no no let me help you let me help you bang what in the world why did he ripped do that? his mask get away from me and then the instructor from behind takes the mask off why and you can see he's holding his fins the dive master is holding his fins and the instructor behind is squeezing the legs on the tank anyway that's kind of the end of the video but what um, do you think of how this why did he went? rip his mask off he just he was just violent that's what so they're he saying. take his mask off so he couldn't see anymore and the stop. instructor came to help and the panicking diver just ripped the mask off Right? Or are you talking about when they rip his mask off? Yeah. Why did they rip the dive master's mask off? But, but I don't know. He Why? reached over and yeah. took off the one from the, the back. Ma- yeah, the instructor in the back ripped off the mask from the panic diver. So I I've mean, heard. I th- I've, look, I think the guy was honestly trying to say, I don't need your help. That's the impression I'm getting. Like, get away from me. I'm fine. Mm-hmm. And the guy kept coming at him. I, I, I mean, that's all I can think of. Yeah. Why? Because that doesn't seem like what a panic diver would do. A panic diver is going to actually come at you because they are out of air or they need something. This guy was get away from me. Right. Which is not really the sign of a panic diver. Right. Right. A panic diver is either bolting to the surface and trying to get to the surface, which this guy clearly wasn't seemingly trying to do or he was yeah. um and would a panic diver why would hold he push those fins? away no. you know just this guy never dropped the fence he's holding it like he changed arms he was holding the fence with the left changed him to the right to rip the mask off of the guy trying to i come don't know in why he took his mask off this yeah guy. I, i'm I, i'm confused of as to what was going on why was he even holding his tank to begin with why yeah. you know we didn't see it did he start to panic and bolt I, it Before seem the, like it, but well, you can't tell from the video. Right, you can't tell. The only reason to grab a hold of somebody and try to hold them down or flare is if they're bolting. You're trying to save their life. But right? you do, you do, or, you do squeeze it with your knees when they're on the surface and they're panicking. Well, you squeeze it with their. You can also squeeze it to bring them up. You know, it, to bring up a. Um, to bring them up controlled, you can do that where you're controlling everything and you're trying to keep them from squirming around at the beginning of the panic underwater. Right. That's just a control moment until they calm down. Typically, if you hold the reg in their mouth and they're breathing and they'll calm down, they, they realize that they can't do anything. But I've never heard of anybody the mask off. to try to calm somebody down ripping their mask off. I don't. Hey. Your guess is as good as mine. I don't know what that was about. Okay, what's your hypothesis? I, I, I just have think, no idea. I just think this was somebody playing a panic diver. I, I think that the guy was like acting. It's like, you know, when we do the rescue class, the people panicking out instructors, typically. Like, and the students also play it, but for the most part, when we do the exercises, I like to play the panic diver. And, of course, we don't do it this extreme, but we tell people it's like, You know, be mindful about the approach and don't get too close. And what I do is I tap people in the head or I tap people in the mask. I don't rip it off, but I say, look, I could have if I was panicking by mistake or whatever out of panic, rip it off. Mm -hmm. So like you got too close. That's that's a lesson for people. Right. Um, I think that the guy wasn't panicking. I think he was just doing an exercise, you know, where he was pretending to panic. And like one instructor was in the back and you, you don't need to come here. And like he, he ripped the mask off the other guy, but the ripping off the mask, that was weird. I, I don't get that. I don't, I mean, I, I teach, you know, I teach the rescue class a lot and I have for many years. Yeah. I've never seen where there would be a circumstance where you would rip off somebody's mask. How would that make it better? 
he may be panicking, ripped it off by himself, yeah, by accident. I guess that's possible. And also, a pan- like I said, a panic diver. I've heard this before, pushing though. Somebody away. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I've heard this before, though, where people say that it's like, well, if you take their mask off, they will figure out they can't even see, so they will calm down. I personally cannot imagine that being the case of somebody panicking, <laughs> like freaking out, and all of a sudden you take the mask off so there's no more seal in their nose. Like, I think it's going to be worse. I've never heard of that as a recommended procedure. Yeah, me but. neither. But there's people that claim it. Okay. Um, and I think we're that's gonna get probably comments. We'll get some people. Yeah, out it's there fine. That say, oh yeah, I always rip off a panic yeah. diver's I mask. Always. I love ripping off. Always a good old do that. Rip off the mask. It's the That'll calm you first down. thing. It doesn't matter. Conscious, unconscious, doesn't matter. Look, rip it look up. Look, that guy's panicking. He's freaking. I know. Bye bye <laughs> mask. <laughs> oh, look how calm he is now. Um, and for your added safety, instead of using your hand, just use the foot. Kick him in the face. You know safer i don't know this one's it's uh, who knows it's, yeah but anyway i just thought it was i that's what i thought is this guy's pretending to panic and that's why he ripped the mask off the instructor like, with such accuracy you know typically yeah. if they're panicked you're you're like it's okay it's okay calm down like you're in a safe distance underwater you're trying to encourage them i got you it's okay me and you will go up. It's okay. Breathe yeah. slow. You hold their hands. Like maybe just, put them together. You're just like, calm. I you're acting calm. Like, yep. calm, right? is calm is contagious. So yep. this is unusual. All right, let's move on. I think we've beat this one up enough. All right, last one. Pretty interesting. This guy was diving uh, on the water. He's not the best at showing uh, trim and buoyancy. But anyway, I'm 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 showing it because I like this guy a little bit. <laughs> I mean, okay. I don't condone what he's doing. But I understand why he's doing it. Um, so this guy was diving and he got thirsty. I mean, in the middle of the dive. So what are you going to do? He's in the ocean? I don't think he's in the ocean. Okay. I think he's in, in uh, fresh water. But he got, he got thirsty. And water is lame. I mean, let's be honest. Like, if you tell me to drink a glass of water a day, I can do it. But I can drink a beer. No problem. In like a, a party. Right? So this guy, he's thirsty. Water's lame. So what are you going to do? <laughs> You drink a beer on the water. I mean, <laughs> oh man, he's not even blowing bubbles. He's <laughs> breath holding, and I don't know. Really? <laughs> Just brought it with him in his BCD? I guess so. So, beer's done. Just back on it. And it's beer. Good job. It's not <laughs> like Gatorade. No? He just. Guy loses regulator, and he didn't lose his regulator. <laughs> He took, it that. took his regulator well, off because I'm in the mood for a beer. Yeah. What I what I liked about this video is that obviously they're trolling. Um, the title of the video and all the links to all these videos are in the description below. If you want to see the original ones or leave comments or whatever. Um, the title of this video is something like they're making fun of other YouTubers as well. They're exaggerating. It's something like gas uh, guy loses regulator and like he almost right. dies like you know he they exaggerate i don't remember the exact title but it's they're okay. clearly just trolling um so this guy's just having fun he's just doing yeah. something to be filmed and have a good time yeah i just I've wonder never <laughs> ever in my life just seen not. somebody do that now i will tell you on long deco since you know we're reacting on yeah. long decos tequila shots nope oh. although no never never <laughs> ne- <laughs> never alcohol but um what they do in the Caymans when we dive with dive tech at yeah. inner space, we do 100 meter dives. And the decos could be like an hour, and you're just sitting there, you're sitting there. They bring down those, I've told you this before, the apple juices where you puncture the straw through them. Wow. And you just. Does you it know, work? It's on, a, it's on a rebreather, so you, you know, close the loop. It's a little salty, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Apple juice. There's no way that can work. Yeah. That seals. Really? Not bad. Mostly apple juice with a tinge of salt. <laughs> and then put it back on and back on the reboot. They bring them down. They swim them down to us. Wow. Because they've already typically taken your um, deep gas, your left tank for you, off because you're sitting there at 20 feet. Right. Right? So you, your right tank is your, your, is main your shallow gas. Point, yeah. It's uh, 50% oxygen. Right. Yeah, you're just sitting there. Wow. But alcohol, you would be immediately banned from... Any dive, yeah, you're going done. on any dive, so we certainly don't encourage drinking it while underwater. Right, right, right. Yeah, don't don't drink alcohol while while diving. Okay, is that all of them? 
That's it. That was kind That's of a all little of, yeah. array of funny little videos. Right. So it's like all of these have been sent by people like you watching this video. And I'm like, well, I can't just play a 23 second video of a guy drinking a beer on the water and expect like a legit reaction. We have to, you know, make a combination and hopefully people enjoy uh, this little combination. So I, think, I think so. I, we always try to bring out learning points and not just react exactly to what you see on the screen, which I think we've done in every one of these. And that's important. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, thank you, everybody. That was a good one. Fun, absolutely. Fun, easy. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for uh, for tuning in. And uh, once again, don't forget to like and subscribe this video. Uh, it really helps us out. And leave a comment below, right? Tell us what you think about the ripping off the mask. I just thought well, of something. By the though. way, I people just, people I, call I, him out that on the on the last video we saw with the ripping off the mask or whatever. People call them out like, oh, this is you guys are making this up or whatever. And the guys are adamant that this is legit. This was a dive mask of the panic. This nothing, none of this was staged. It seems staged, but I, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. But I, right. but I do want to try that. Now that you said, really, is it salty? Don't be surprised if you see a video of Gus and I somewhere in the ocean. Wow. Coke, <laughs> apple juice. We're gonna try them all and say which one had the least amount of salt and worked. If you have to take a little drink under, just wow. thought of that. Multiple right here on containers. Spot. Orange Gatorade <laughs> at depth. That not none of that stuff like that. Is you know the work. bottle that where you can go, not the one the, where you. Oh, the you sports know, bottle. Yeah, the sports that you, bottle. Uh huh. That'll work. You can reclose no, that, those it. Those things are useless. Uh, but we can. Try, you should try them. I'll film. But it. not you. You gotta have somebody swim it down to your twenty feet. You take that thing down to three hundred feet. That sports <laughs> bottle on the way up. It's, it's gonna explode. Makes sense. So but, we'll do that. Uh, yeah, we should try it. We'll try that. <laughs> Thank you everyone for tuning in. Hope to see you on the next one. Um, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks everybody.